Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue looking at UV Editor tools. The UV Editor can be found under Windows UV Editor right here. And the tool we're going to be looking at today is under the Tool menu and we have the Pinch UV Tool. You can also find it here in the UV Editor toolbar next to the Grab UV Tool. There's the Pinch UV Tool. Before we use any UV command or UV tool, we need to have UVs in our scene to use these tools on. So I'm going to go to the Sculpting tab, open the visor for sculpting base meshes, and I'm just going to choose one of these models that is provided by Maya so that we easily can get some UVs in our scene. I'm just going to right click on this car and import it. So we, now we have this car model. And you can see the model has two separate objects for the wheels as well. So I'm just going to select the main body, go back to the UV editor. So here you can see the UVs for the car. So how does the pinch UV tool work? If I left click on the pinch UV tool, you see I get this brush circle around my cursor. And as I left click and drag, wherever I drag, the UVs get pinched toward the center of that brush. And if I click and just kind of move around in a circle in this one spot, it will pinch and pinch and pinch until it's, you know, all the way in there. So that's the pinch UV tool in a nutshell. But there are, of course, options for our tool. Let's go to the tool menu, open the pinch UV tool options, and I'll move this over here. Let me reset the tool, make sure we have our default values. And we have our size slider, which that's the size of the brush with default value of 0.1 increase the size slider will increase the shape of the brush or decrease it of course you can also hold the B key B's and boy left click and drag to dynamically change your brush size as well and your size slider will automatically update then we have our strength slider strength is just how strong the effect is and default value is 10 when I left click and drag, this is with a 10, a strength value of 10. If I increase the strength value at really high, left click and drag, you can see it pinches in much faster. Or if I go way down to a small value, it pinches in much more slowly. Reset settings, default values 10. Then there's invert. The invert will obviously do the opposite of pinch. If I left click and drag, you'll see how it's ballooning out or expanding out from the center of my brush. So it gives you the opposite effect of pinch with the invert checkbox. Down here is display. This display section, if I expand it, we have a checkbox for show brush ring during stroke. So right now there's a ring around my cursor that shows my brush size. And as I left click and drag, you can still see it. But if you uncheck this, as I left click, the brush ring goes away making it invisible in case the brush ring is getting in your way when looking at your UVs. That's the only thing really here in the display section. Then we have our fall off section of our tool. Now this is the same fall off settings that was in a previous video called the grab UV tool. I went over that there. So it's, instead of going over it again I would recommend you check out the grab UV tool video I went over it in detail there it's all the same settings essentially though in a nutshell what it is is it allows you to change the profile of your brush by default I have this kind of sloping pattern which means the center of my brush has the strongest effect and then the brush effect falls off toward the edge of my brush so as I left click and drag the center of my brush pulls or pinches in much stronger than the outer ring of my brush. However, you can change that profile. For example, if I were to invert it like this, then what happens is that the middle of my brush is where the effect has fallen off to and the outer ring has the strongest pull. So when I left click you can see there I get kind of a bubble effect in the middle of my brush because 
the outer ring has the strongest effect and it falls off toward the center of my brush. So you get that kind of effect. And you can continue to use this tool to change the profile shape of your brush to get some interesting results. For example, with this kind of profile, we have, we'll have a strong effect in the center of the brush and on the outer ring, and the effect falls off in a ring around the center of my brush. So left click and drag, you can kind of see that effect, which gives us another kind of bubbling effect, but essentially that, but that, that's essentially what is happening. And then here we have presets that Maya kind of comes with that you can use as well as create your own, but in a bit more of a truncated version of the explanation of the fall off section of the settings, like I said, feel free to look at the grab UV tool video for a fuller, more detailed explanation of the fall off settings for the pinch UV tool. But that's essentially it for the pinch UV tool. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, if I missed something, please let me know. Uh, for example, I think in the grab UV video, I forgot to mention you can hold down the B key, left click and drag to rescale your brush, which you can do for the grab UV tool as well. In any case, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.